My name is Samantha White. I'm the creator of livingwastefree.com and I live a zero waste lifestyle. A zero waste lifestyle to me means that I strive to create no trash. I strive to send nothing to the landfill at all. Uh, I still do recycle I, and I do compost because I do have food scraps left over when I'm done and I do buy things that have packaging on them that do require recycling. Um, but I do not buy plastic because plastic doesn't recycle well uh, and it's just so bad for the environment. But I do have things that need to be disposed of in an ecological, like an eco-friendly way. Uh, I just don't throw them in the trash anymore. I do have a trash can though. It's a uh, it's a little metal tin. It's about the size of a mason jar, a little a little bigger than like a quart size mason jar. And I do have some trash that I throw away. I think I take my trash out uh, about once every month, month and a half or so. But most of my trash really is things like packing tape from packages I get sent to me or that friends send me. Junk mail, the little like windows in the envelopes of junk mail or things that I bought previously that are unfortunately disposable and that as I go through this journey I'm transitioning to different products and finding better alternatives to those so I have to get rid of them. So that's what zero waste means to me. Now I kind of want to tell you why I decided to go zero waste or how I came upon this lifestyle because from the outside I think if you've never heard of it or you don't know someone who's doing it, it can seem kind of radical. Uh, it can seem like a big change to make since the entire the entire world basically now is just disposable. I mean, you can't go anywhere without buying something that's wrapped in plastic that you're going to throw away. It's all single use, single use straws, single use plastic wrap, single use razors. You know, it's all just a throwaway society. I didn't always live this lifestyle. Uh, I'm from a really rural area in South Dakota and for most of my life, well for the beginning of my life, we really didn't recycle just because we didn't have the facilities available to do it. My family actually did recycle when I was very, very, very young, but it became really difficult to find a place that was consistently open and it took a lot of different types of recycling. So when I was middle school age, so I was like 12 to 14, I looked up recycling centers online and I found a single stream recycling center that was two and a half hours away from us in the big city you know, that we went to go shopping in and so we would stash all of our recycling in, um, in the laundry room, in our porch, in the trunks of our cars until we could take it to the recycling center and dispose of it in what I thought was the best way. And you know, I gotta say, it never occurred to me to reduce what I was buying until I was in college. It just did not cross my mind. I just thought, you know, keep buying whatever you're buying. This is just the way you have to live and you have to recycle it. I didn't understand that I could really reduce my impact even more by just stopping buying all those products. So when I found the Zero Waste Lifestyle, which I found my about a year ago, I've been doing this for about a year. I, I started this lifestyle in April of 2015. When I found this lifestyle, it was just this aha moment where I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have to just recycle, I can do so much more. I had always been really into the environment and when I went to college, I would kind of lost my way in that. I had kind of given up on trying to save the environment. And then one day, my senior year of college, my final year, I read an article about Lauren Singer, who if you're into the zero waste community, you probably have heard of. She's the creator of TrashesForTossers.com. And so I looked her up and I just realized she was my age and she was creating no trash and I realized I could do that too. Why, why am I not doing that? It just felt like the perfect way to make a difference. And I guess when it all comes down to it, the reason I do this is so that I can make a positive difference in the world. This feels like a real way that I can help the environment. I never go a day feeling like I didn't do something worthwhile because I always feel like not creating trash is worthwhile. So that's how I found the, the zero waste lifestyle and it, it's the best decision I've ever made. I think it is really truly one of the decisions I am happiest with. It's just one of the greatest things that's ever happened to me. Just want to say that there is no single way 
to have a zero waste life. There's no right way to live a zero waste lifestyle. There's a lot of different ways to do this. You can make your own products, you can find eco-friendly businesses to buy products from, you can compost in your apartment, you can try and find a composting site in your community. There's just so many ways, different avenues to get involved in this and you don't have to all of a sudden just go zero waste because I don't want it to sound like overnight I just quit producing trash. It was a slow transition. My first thing I did was I made toothpaste for myself and it was amazing. I'm still using, I mean a different batch, but I'm still using the same toothpaste recipe. Trashwithfortossers.com is a good one. So there's no single way to do this. It's not a one size fits all journey. It is, it is small changes that ultimately create a new lifestyle. I just want everyone to know that, that this lifestyle is different for everyone because everyone's lifestyle is different. But zero waste is just like a filter that you look at the world through, at least for me it is. I look at everything and think, how can I do that? But how can I create no waste? So I don't like limit myself from doing anything. If I wanna go out to eat, I'll go out to eat, but I think how can I go out to eat and not create waste? And there's some really simple ways that you can do that. Once you put that filter on, you can, you can do so many things and still not produce trash. It's amazing. I hope what you take away from this video is that really there's no one way to be zero waste. Even if you're just thinking about it, just being aware of it is a huge thing. Being aware that you have excess waste that you don't need to be throwing away is huge. That is the first step. So congratulations, even if you're just there, that's amazing. And if you're, this is your first time you're even hearing about zero waste, I hope that you find it intriguing. I hope that you want to learn more about it and maybe adapt some of these you know, principles into your own life. And if you have any questions or you'd just like to get a hold of me, you can comment in the comment section below. That would be awesome. Or you can email me um, at livingwastefree at gmail.com or check my Instagram, which is at livingwastefree, or my blog, which is livingwastefree.com and I will put links for all of those in the description. I don't know how to end a video.